friends my name is rajesh babbar welcome to my channel c astrology so today we are going to discuss about eighth number sign means so scorpio sign in kal purush kundli is placed in eighth house kal purush kundli always starts from aries lagna and in the eighth house there is eighth number sign this eighth number sign and the eighth house relates to ancestral property of the native whether it's a female chart whether it's a male chart the combinations are same in this context so eight number sign ancestral property the lord is mars who is the natural karaka for land and property it also denotes psychological issues sex drives long lasting diseases lot of other things can be analyzed from eight house but today my main focus is going to be on ancestral property and land and property both i will take so all the planets which are placed in eight number sign what results they are going to give to the native this i will discuss in this video and it will be a short video for about 10 minutes before i begin my video i pray to lord ganesha and lord shri dev help us learn this divine knowledge so friends we are learning hari bol nandi nadi so topic for today would be so topic for today is eight number sign so as i have told you before eight number sign signifies ancestral property so for example if sun is placed in eight number sign sun is the causative planet of father so very easily you can predict about the native if you see any native chart and you see sun is placed in eight number sign in that chart that means father will have ancestral property his father will give him property or second prediction father will have his own land and property whether he would be uh, whether this property is not retained by the father or he will sell this property for his personal use or for any other needs that depends upon other combinations which i will be discussing later in the end of the video so sun is the causative positive planet of father this happens when sun is placed in eighth number sign when moon is placed in eighth number sign moon is the causative planet of mother in the uh, in the natal chart whether it is a female chart whether it is a male chart so moon is mother that means mother can get ancestral property from his father or his four or her forefathers secondly you can add one thing in this prediction is that mother's father will have his own house because when the daughter is born or your mother was born in that particular house father would have his own house so when moon is placed in eighth number sign you can easily say that before marriage your mother's father had his own house so even after marriage mother can get ancestral property from his father so now we will take jupiter into consideration jupiter is placed in scorpio this means this native will definitely get ancestral property from his father or from his forefather both predictions you can use here but that native who gets property from his ancestors from his father or from his grandfather according to other combinations and conjunctions of planets or aspect of planets whether he will retain this property or he will sell this property for his personal use that depends upon other factors this i will explain in the end of the video so if jupiter is in scorpio this will be the result if mars is in scorpio when mars is in scorpio definitely that native will have lot of land and property because mars is the karaka for land and property and especially in eighth number sign he gets lot of ancestral property if you are realizing a female chart husband of the native will have land and properties or this is the combination that he will get ancestral property from his father or grandfather both combinations you can use here secondly mars is also the younger brother of the native so 
younger brother of the native can have his own house or he can also get the share uh, among the brothers when the property is divided ancestral property so all this combination you can use in chart if venus is placed in scorpio venus is the causative planet of wife in a male chart and if you are analyzing a female chart it is the secondary jeeva karaka so when venus is placed in scorpio in a female chart she can have her own property or her father can have land and property because when she is unmarried she stays at her father's house so father can have land and property or father can get ancestral property this ancestral property can be transferred to this female after marriage so when venus is in scorpio that person there are chances that this female will get ancestral property from his uh, from her father sorry if saturn is placed in scorpio if saturn is placed in scorpio then the elder brother of the native will have land and property or he will get ancestral property or elder brother of the wife will have this combination to get land and property from his father or he will have his own house next if mercury is placed in eighth number sign in scorpio mercury is the causative planet of your uncle so definitely your mother's brother they will have the opportunity to get ancestral property from their father or from their grandfather or one of your cousin sister or cousin brother or cousin uncles they will also get land and property or they will have their own house because mercury relates to uncles mercury also relates to relatives of the native and mercury also relates to neighbors of the relatives so all combinations you can use here if rahu is placed in scorpio grandfather will have land and property or he will get ancestral property if ketu is placed here in scorpio definitely your grandmother will have land and property or she will get ancestral property from her father so these are the combinations when planets are placed in scorpio signs but you have to analyze the other factors also the aspects and the conjunctions with these planets so now i'm going to share a combination with you what is the combination when a native gets ancestral property but he is not able to retain that property for long or he sells the property for his personal use or due to loans or some bad habits so there are several combinations but we will study one or two. one combination only so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we have covered all the planets so if jupiter is placed in let's say tula or libra next to jupiter if there is let's say scorpio sign sun is placed here and next to jupiter then next to sun in 10 number sign moon is placed here so this is the combination when a native gets ancestral property and he is not able to retain that property how i will explain it if you are analyzing a male chart jupiter is the jeeva karaka next to jupiter there is sun who is in scorpio so as i have already told you scorpio is the sign of ancestral property sun is the causative planet of father this is the native so when there is when, when this is the combination in the chart native will definitely get land and property from his father but sun is ahead in fourth house from jupiter and third from sun so this means he will not be able to retain that property or he will sell that property for his personal use so these are the combinations you have to analyze the charts very carefully when you see these type of combinations in the charts when 
planets are placed in eight number sign or when Jupiter is in Libra, Sun is in Scorpio at 100% there are chances the native gets land and property but if moon is ahead in uh, in second or third house or fourth house from Jupiter that native will sell that property for his personal reasons. So I think it's a very short topic but it's a very important topic for those who are learning Brigun and the Nadi. This you can use in other combinations also because eight number sign relates to psychological issues. Eight number sign is ups and downs in life. Eight number sign is long lasting disease and problems. So this you can expand yourself. I have shared you the technique. I have only taken one consideration land and property and ancestral property. So I am going to end this session today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.